Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's about 7 p.m. on a Wednesday. I'm here on Soy 24. I'm heading up to the Prompong BTS station. Gonna ride down the way to Siam Central, then go the one train on the Siloam line to National Stadium, head into MBK. I need to find a little uh, plug for a lavalier mic. I only had one little transition plug, and of course I, I ripped it in two. So it's just an excuse to uh, get out of the condo, head up to MBK, see what's going on. And still plenty of traffic. People heading home from work, going out for the evening. Yeah, it's a beautiful night. That's looking off in the direction of uh, the Tang La BTS station. And these trains are always packed up here at Siam or Central Station. Don't be surprised if you have to uh, wait for the next train. I just ran across, I'm gonna jump on the uh, one quick train stop up to the end of the line, National Stadium, and that's where you'll find MBK. And attached to the Siam Central is the Siam Paragon Mall. This station has uh, multi-levels. If you go down to the next deck, you can get on the dark green line, the Siloam line, head off in the other direction towards Saladang and Papong BTS, continue on towards the Chao Phraya River, get off at Sapan Taxan, jump on one of the water taxis down to uh, Asia Teak or across the river to the new Icom Siam Mall. And this train is relatively uh, empty if we we're going off in the other direction towards Salandang and uh, on the Siloam line towards the Pontaxan. I'm sure that train will be packed this time of night. And there's the National Stadium off in the distance. And here's the MBK Mall. This was the premier mall back in the 80s, I believe. Today it's just a little bit older mall and each level is kind of dedicated to one is cameras, one laptops, one, let's say, eh, replica nikes and that kind of thing and they have some free muay thai twice a month you can take a look at this schedule for 2024 anyhow 5 p.m to 8 p.m and i think it's up on the sixth floor i know it's up high towards the movie area you can find anything in here from tailors to watch repair anything that's broken and you think is unfixable give it a shot bring it in here for 10 bucks they might uh, take that device apart and glue in another battery they can do wonders. I had a pair of uh, Bose headphones, the old school wire type, but still, they were expensive back in the day and they still sounded great. The only problem is uh, they were only holding a charge for a little over an hour. I brought them in here and, and I don't know what the guy did. He took them apart and glued some other battery in. I don't know what he did, but they lasted closer to three hours. I ended up replacing them uh, shortly after, but it was good to know I could get those things uh, working for less than 10 bucks. There's also a whole floor of uh, jewelry here. It's going on 8 p.m., so I think they close at 10, but many of these jewelry shops and all close a little earlier. This fashion and living, this is about as close as you're gonna find to, I'll call it a knockoff, or not a knockoff, but a discount store. It's kind of like a Ross or Marshalls in the U.S. You're not gonna find the same item in there twice, but oftentimes it's uh, really marked down. And coming up on the fourth floor, this is all used phones, iPads, anything. And don't waste too much time. Just go to any one of these guys and, you know, ask your question. If they can't take care of it, they can run it off to their buddy to get the proper cable or the proper battery you need. Now, when you get your brand new phone over here in Thailand, yeah, pass on the uh, whatever it's going to be, the $25 phone case at the AIS store. Come straight over here, get a screen protector put on. You buy it, they'll put it on for free. Maybe give them a small tip, 20 baht, and take your choice of uh, different phone cases for five US bucks. All the OtterBox and the more expensive things are here as well, but you can get a, a pretty nice knockoff for next to nothing. And along with all the different kiosks, you'll find AIS, Samsung, 
I, there's not an Apple store in here. If you want an official Apple, you need to go to the Central World Mall, and it sits right in the parking lot, almost attached to the mall. Or the Icom Siam. Is it Icon Siam or Icom Siam? I, I mix it up. I know they have an official Apple store. There must be 100 shops in here to fix your glass or change out that, that battery. Come check it out before you throw that old phone away. And as big as this place is, I seem to go to the same three people over and over, but she didn't have the little cable I needed. Well, she had one, but it was two feet long. I just need a little dongle. Oh, and I struck out. I even came into the fancy uh, Ceremonic store. Ceremonic? Am I saying that correct? I've ordered some of these things on Amazon before. But over here, it's a little bit trickier with Amazon. I don't like... Uh, paying the customs online. I don't like waiting two weeks, but I've had different buddies tell me they pay their customs online. When the product arrives, they're asked to come down to the post office and pay the customs again. And they have to argue with uh, Amazon to get the money back. And every time I walk by, I admire this uh, old school furniture. All right, well, I found one of the cords I need, just a cheapy Chinese 99 baht cord. I, I would have been a little happier with the road or ceremonic. I'm sure it would have been 380 baht, but it's usually a heavier gauge wire. These little Chinese cords, the same thing might happen to uh, the one I just destroyed. They're kind of plug in and leave alone type cords. And this is for switching back and forth between microphones. So I actually picked up three of the 99 bot cords and maybe that'll keep me going for a while. And they have a nice food court in here, but there are plenty of uh, affordable places to eat. Here's a little ramen shop. It's a beautiful evening out here about uh, 8.40 p.m. This is the little walkway in between MBK to head over to the different Siams. I mix them all up. There's Siam Paragon's probably the, the biggest, then there's Siam Discovery and one other Siam Mall. And plenty of people out milling about. When the sun goes down, this is when you hang out in Bangkok. All kinds of Instagram and selfies going on. I guess it's the Siam Center in between Discovery and uh, Paragon. I'm not sure. And there's Siam Central Station. And the train's still packed. 10 minutes till 9 p.m. And I jumped on the train heading back over to Prom Pong. I was going to head home and start this little project, but a buddy just called. Where am I at? What's going on? Am I up for a beer tonight? Yes, I am. So we're heading over to uh, headquarters, O'Shea's. Grab a quick drink little nightcap Pong Pong BTS I'm not sure why it's so busy today it's just a an average Wednesday night and it's Wednesday night they're having the popular trivia night good luck uh, getting a seat on Wednesday at the Royal Oak hey and here you go I've made my way up to O'Shea so I'm gonna run in meet my buddy Ben have a quick beer and then call it a night thank you so much for Following along this evening, there'll be more videos to come. Consider subscribing for more looks around uh, Bangkok, Thailand. We'll see you later.